Hello, and thank you for joining the Georgetown University Chamber Music Department end of semester concert. My name is Dr. Nathaniel Dryblatt, and alongside Dr. Grace Kim, we're incredibly happy to see you here. Our students produced this concert for you after coaching and rehearsing throughout the entire semester over Zoom. As you may imagine, playing with more than one person at the same time over Zoom can prove to be quite a challenge. However, through their hard work and dedication, our great students have managed to make it work. And the result is just what you're about to hear. We hope you enjoy this concert and hope to see you again next year in person in one of our Chamber Music Department concerts. Enjoy the show. Hi, I'm Lucy. Hi, I'm Declan. Hi, I am Bo. And today we will be playing Leo Viner's String Trio in G minor. Leo Viner is an early modern composer. He composed this trio specifically in 1908. Although he is a composer, he was more well known for his contributions to music education in Hungary. And although his Hungarian contemporaries, such as Bartók and Kodály, uh, featured a lot of folk music in their compositions, uh, Viner stuck more to a late Romantic sound compared to his contemporaries at the time. And although he ended up uh, choosing to include some folk music like his contemporaries, uh, we can still see some of that in the string trio, specifically in the second and the third movement. And even though we rehearsed over Zoom this semester, we're really lucky that all of us got vaccinated this semester and are able to perform together. So we hope you enjoy.
Hello, my name is Sherry Wu, and I'm currently a senior at Zhuchang University, majoring in math and psychology. This is my last semester at Chamber Music, and I definitely will miss it a ton next year. So even though it's still a very difficult and challenging time as we cannot play in person, I receive so much help and support from people around me that just makes everything so much better. So I'm really thankful for that. And also the absolute up during the semester is that I got to play with Grace, who's also my coach. Um, I learned so much from Grace, first of all. Every time after we meet, I just realized there's so many things that I could work on and it just motivated me to practice even harder and trying to make even greater music. And not only that, it's also a great uh, experience working with Grace. And she's always very, very supportive, understanding, and always so sweet. And so this is definitely the semester that I improved the most, um, had the most fun, and definitely it's the greatest and I could ever think of for the four years at Chamber Music. And back to the piece that we're playing, it's composed by Rachmaninoff. He's one of my favorite composer and his um, piano concerto number three is simply my all-time favorite. And I'm pretty sure Professor Deladonna knows deeply about it after I took the class with him. Um, so if, in case you don't know, Rachmaninoff is a Russian composer, piano virtuoso, and conductor in the late Romantic period. His pieces are famous for their fluid melodic lines that just flow through the entire passage, never ending, continues. And they're also great, famous for their um, expressiveness and the very, very rich orchestra-like tone. Those things together just make his pieces so attractive and memorable. And he's also one of the finest pianists during his time. He not only recorded his own music, which we can still find on YouTube today, but he also signed a contract with a recording company, and he was definitely one of the most prominent recording artists during his time. So I hope that you guys enjoy our performance and hope our performance can bring you into the rock mind of music world. Hello, my name is Grace Kim, and I coach chamber music in the Department of Performing Arts. This semester, I had the unique opportunity to collaborate with one of our very own students, Sherry Wu. Sherry talked a little bit about the, uh, the composer Rachmaninoff, and so I'll talk a little bit about the composition. Rachmaninoff Suite No. 2 uh, is a mature work by the composer. It was written in 1901. Um, and around this time was also when he wrote his famous second piano concerto. Uh, these two works actually represent a comeback of his creativity after uh, going through a period of, uh, period of depression that was brought on by the negative reception to his uh, first symphony. Uh, the suite is in four movements. Um, the two movements that Sherry and I will be performing uh, is the third and fourth movements the Romance and the Tarantella. The Romance is a beautiful, slow, uh, lyrical uh, movement. Um, and it uh, is much of the time introspective um, and gradually uh, it builds into an impassioned climax through layers and uh, multitude of textures. Um, the Tarantella is a very fast dance in 6-8 time. It is very exciting and uh, demands virtuosity from both players. The work was first performed in 1901 by uh, Rachmaninoff himself, who, as no surprise, was a great uh, pianist, and his cousin, Alexander Siloti, also another great uh, virtuoso. Uh, this work is great fun for both players um, as both parts are equal forces uh, technically and musically. And the result is this uh, incredible blend of sound, colors, and uh, textures brought on by the two pianos. It was an absolute joy to work with Sherry this semester in such a capacity 
I loved exchanging thoughts and ideas in our rehearsals. And it was humbling to see through the lens of the student uh, to experience directly the process of putting together chamber music uh, through Zoom and weekly recordings. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope uh, you will enjoy the performance.
Thank you.